Sometimes I pity the youth. Not for their naivete and the hard knocks bound to come. Not even for having the misfortune of coming of age during this sad little era. Kids these days. There, I said it. For them, it's like that old proverb. Or a curse, really. The kind of thing you read in a fortune cookie. It goes something like, that you live in interesting times. Yeah, well, these days, interesting ain't the half of it. The reason I really pity the youth is that, at present writing, even if they're as old as, say, 25, right when youth is beginning to tarnish into adult themes and not the irate kind, they still missed 1982. That's right, 1982. Why? 1982 was the single most brilliant year for film geeks ever. If you're not the youth of today, if you're like me, you stood a chance of seeing this pantheon of great films in the theater. Yeah, remember those? Think about it. 48 Hours, Diner, Blade Runner, Cappy, Conan the Barbarian, The Dark Crystal, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, Road Warrior, E.T., Fast Times at Ridgemont High, First Blood, Grease 2, Poltergeist, Porky's, Quest for Fire, Richard Pryor, Live on the Sunset Strip, Rocky 3, The Secret of Nim, Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan, The Thing, Tootsie, Tron, the World According to God. I tell you, in a world according to geeks, we inherited the earth that year, 1982.